please hit like and subscribe. It lets me know you're enjoying these videos. Hey guys, welcome to Mars or Bust. I'm Spaceman Dave, and this is your five minute weekend report. You know what? When I'm wrong, I admit it. And I'm wrong as far as SpaceX and the quality of their builds. Just take a look at this. First of all, by the looks of it, they increased the structural support on the bulkhead. This is the thrust puck bulkhead. Just take a look at the difference here between SN4 and a previous bulkhead. There's a major difference between the two. So SpaceX is making major improvements on each new build, but this has made me feel a little better about it. After the last few mishaps, I've been a little concerned about the quality. Not to mention, they're starting to build them quicker. They're stacking SN4 pretty fast. At this rate, by the end of the year, they should be able to build a starship about every two weeks. If you take a look at these new joined ring sections, you can see the quality. It's gone up drastically. My faith is being renewed. And you're probably saying, why did you ever doubt SpaceX? Well, here's the problem. See, I'm a person that likes to see progress and see things get done and see them get done correctly the first time. And I just didn't feel we were getting anywhere, especially with the explosions and all. But I guess this is something that has to happen the way it has. I've worked in this industry and it's so much different than anything I've seen before, but I am impressed. So from now on, I'm going to try to report what I see instead of what I think. You ought to like that. Anyway, from what we're hearing from Elon, SN4 will not have any flaps. I guess that means they're going to maybe try to do the hop with it, but it won't require the flaps to do that. Also, it sounds like they're moving along with the Raptor engines. They're currently at number SN26. I see they have three engines on site in Boca Chica already. It looks like they have SN18 that you can see. The center one is an older version, and it looks like maybe SN17 might be the other one. Also, the rumor has it they may not put the nose cone on SN4, as they don't really need it for the hop test, and if something goes wrong, they're just losing one piece of hardware that they could use in the future. So at this point, I'm not going to worry a lot about these failures. Elon Musk doesn't seem to be too worried about them. According to this tweet, he's all ready to put them in his front yard as lawn ornaments. Hey guys, I really need you to do me a favor. I need you to hit that like and subscribe button down there. It would do me a lot of good if you'd do that. Thank you. I appreciate it. This here is the mob. These are my patrons. They're some amazing people. You guys are what helps me keep this thing going week after week. I have no words to describe how happy I am you're part of the mob. Thank you so much, guys. And you too can join the mob for as little as $1 a month. Check it out in the description. This has been your five-minute weekend report. This is Spaceman Dave. Have a great weekend and be safe. We'll see you again next week.